uh, you know, receivers, receivers, running backs, uh, et cetera. Right now, if you were to rank in terms of importance, what positional group you would target in the draft going forward to say next year out of quarterback, running back, receiver, those would rank one, two, three in Ricky Larson's eyes. How receiver for sure. Still, I still think that should be number one. And then I say you just throw caution to the wind, get one of the top four quarterbacks because shit, it's better to have a Josh Allen if you can after you get your top receiver than say a, who's a running back that's been kind of underperforming, Joe Mixon, he was a first round running back. You know, so yeah. it's much better in my eyes to have a Josh Allen than to have a running back that. Might get you 30, but Josh Allen will get you 30. So I think you'd have to go receiver, quarterback, running back. Uh, I've already set my my game plan for next year, uh, just reckless. I'm going to be reckless. I'm going to go wide receiver, wide receiver, quarterback, then maybe another wide receiver, and then worry about running backs like that's what I'm saying. You know, slip those running backs down. I think I'm with you. Quarterback might be cracking to my number one. Here, here's what's crazy is I'm staring at the top 20, 20 fantasy just scorers, regardless of position. You've got Lamar over 100. He's 13 points clear of Josh Allen. Diggs is there. Hurts. So the top four in a cup. Top five has three quarterbacks, two receivers. Barkley checks in behind your boy, Amon Ross St. Brown, Waddle, Mahomes, throw another quarterback in there. There's Barkley, who's your number one running back. And here's even there's three running backs in the top 20. You've got Barkley, Chubb, and then freaking uh or and then James Robinson. Um, I mean, it's scarce here for the running backs. Yeah, and uh, it really opens your eyes to when I first got into fantasy, it was stack up your running backs, worry about everything later. Right. We're we're pretty much off that now, and it's just that's the way the league's turning. It, there's more passing. There's more of a focus on throwing the football than running the football. Uh, so uh, there, and in my eyes, especially if you're in a PPR league, there is more opportunity for points in that receiver position. Yeah, because of catches and all of that. What when you draft a running back? What do you want that running back to do? Catch the football. Why don't you just get a receiver that does catch the football? Right. Quarterbacks. I mean, if they're going to be a successful quarterback and that team's going to win, they're going to need to throw three touchdowns, 300 yards a game, which Mm -hmm. is a huge game for any quarterback. So, yeah, I think we're starting to steer clear of uh, running backs. Hopefully not everybody else has that same philosophy. Hopefully everybody (laughs) holds on to the old (laughs) philosophy, and uh, I can capitalize on that at some point. Right, we're just giving you the secrets here on Corbett's Corner, courtesy of Ricky Larson, Lucky Shots Media.